party. Next, Amish teens rock out and a rock candy profile of a pre-famous star. I have to be at the clubs where the stars are going to be. I have to be. Is there anything this wannabe diva won't do to become a rock and roll superstar? I clean house for rock stars. It's all to be at the clubs where the stars are going to be. I have to be around music. Wendy is the PR god monster. I just plug people for business cards. Can I have your card? I'm a singer. I know she's going to be big. So you want to be a rock and roll star? Well, a lot of people think all it takes is luck, but not want to be rock star Wendy Moore. She's got a plan, a plan for the take no prisoners world of rock and roll. And even though you haven't heard of her, we at VH1 are going to follow Wendy all day as she advances through her daily battle plan of promoting and networking to get her foot in the door of rock and roll. Rule one, in Wendy's view, if you want to get to the top, you have to meet the people already there. I clean house for rock stars. I'm so I make friends, connections. It's all about networking. You know, I could be doing something else. I could be stripping. I could be doing all kinds of stuff for money. You know, I don't think I have to do that. Can we say whose house you're cleaning? No. Rule two. Wendy knows that every lucky break must be backed up with well-honed talent. I've been training my vocals for five years. And then I started making my clothes. Then I worked in this office where I started making flyers for my band. I think I'm going to wear these today. These are my favorite. They're beautiful. Dangerous. They are. Uh, All right. Here's my guitar player. Uh, I'm never on time. <laughs> Rule three getting around can sometimes be half the battle. Bye, Margaret. Lots of love, baby. <laughs> Rule four, when it comes to self-promotion, anytime, anyhow, anywhere. You can be yourself on this show. I'm myself always. Oh, okay. Does that mean I can fart? <laughs> Four, three. Welcome to Astrology and You. My name is Terrence Gardino, and tonight we have rock and roll singer Wendy Moore. So, Wendy, you're a Sagittarius. Yes. How in the world did VH1 discover you and you haven't had your first big break. I can't sleep at night if I didn't do something for my career that day. I don't go out on many dates. I don't do anything That's else. That's the Neptune hitting your house of career. This is a very magical time. So the more fairy dust you throw out, the more it's getting out there. Sprinkle that fairy dust around the planet. This isn't on, is it? One, one, two. Has it been on this whole time? They want to do that again. No, this that was great. Tell I loved it. Let's, uh, get them out. She's not smiling. Rule five. If you have to work to pay the rent, try to keep it connected to the music business. Oh. Penis envy, penis envy. I thought it would be kind of funny play on words. It means so many things. There's two people who don't like the name of the band. One of them's a really famous guy. <laughs> Can't say his name, probably. But uh, he hates the name of the band. Rule six, if you want your face to be seen, you've got to plaster it everywhere. She models it, and like people are emailing us. Who's that girl? Oh, I think she wants a total uh, exposure everywhere. Rule seven, when a networking opportunity arises, don't be shy and play it cool. Hey, aren't you Gene Simmons? I know, it's VH1. They want me walking up and down. I just tacked my posters up over there. Zoom in on his pin code. 
<laughs> guys, he's gonna, smile, he's gonna get mad, you guys, come on. You don't wanna see fire coming out of the man's mouth, do you? Come on. That's how easy it is to meet people in this town. Here's Gene Simmons at the ATM, and I've met him in similar situations before, and he's a friend of mine. By the way, he's the one that doesn't like the name of my band. <laughs> Rule eight. When allowed, make famous connections known to the world. Remember I told you about the VH1 thing and you didn't want your name mentioned and all that? Well, we ran into Gene Simmons today. <laughs> I know. But um, they're still at my house right now. Are you sure I can't, you know, I can't even say that I house clean for you? I can? Okay. Place is probably pretty bad right now. When should I come in? I have an upcoming show, though. You better come to it. And Gene, too. I'm going to call him up. <laughs> I do house clean for Ace Freely, and I was him when I was 16 years old in a lip sync contest. Rule nine. Every day, always find a little time for you. And it's now that Wendy gets to rest. I know it then it's back to cleaning, networking, CD stacking, public relations, call it what you will. But for Wendy Moore, it got her on VH1 and it might just get her to the top of the charts. As Casey Kasem might say, keep your feet on the ground and keep cleaning for the stars. This is Mike Siegel for Rock Candy. Yeah, I'm happy for you.